Hey guys, this is Hawkeye, and I am back at Mudwater River, and I am at the first peg of the river, and I'm basically going to come here and try to see if I can't get some bowfin. Now, I've already gotten the black bullheads, and when I was fishing for the black bullheads, I happened to land a bowfin, and so they're in pretty much in the same areas. Uh, they like a variety of things. They like pet food. They like minnows. They like pretty much anything that the catfish and the bass will go for. So therein lies a problem. <laughs> you have to deal with the other guys trying to grab it. So I think what I'm going to do here, guys, is I'm going to change the leader length here. I think I might make it around 60. So at least decrease the chances of me getting a bullhead or a channel cat. And then we'll go ahead and cast and see what happens. Alright. Looks like I'm getting a bite. At least briefly there. Let's see what kind of fish this is. Come on. Come on. He's interested. There we go. Come on, fish. Let's see what you are. Come on. Let's see what you are. There we go. Trophy black bullhead, guys. This is what they look like. Not a bad little fish. About 2.8 pounds, not the biggest in the world, but I'm gonna go ahead and get a snap of him anyway. All right, we'll go ahead and keep him. Yeah, the pet food seems to really do well. Right here's a good spot for the black bullheads at about 99 inches. Let's see if we can't pick up another one here. Now I do have a pretty a pretty hefty pole guys but you can use a smaller pole and I've got very light line on this but the fact of the matter is the pet food works extremely well now the other thing that you can use besides pet food is cut bait and cheese now you might get channel cats the chances are very very strong now right now it happens to be about 10 17 a.m. Pretty much you can catch them at different points of the day. It seems like I have the most luck later in the evening. But I thought I'd try it at 10 a.m. because that's when I used to catch the brown bullheads down in Florida. Alright, looks like we're getting another one. Alright, let's see here. There's another one. There you go, guys. That's where the black bullheads are. Alright, I'm going to advance time just a little bit. I want to try a little bit later in the evening. Closer to about 6 p.m. And we're going to try in the same spot. Well, this time we're going to use cut bait. Actually, let's use cheese. There's a reason why I want to use cheese. Because this is going to be available to people who just begin this game and are at this level. And I'd, you'd have a number two hook available to you. Probably a number four would work as well. 
But this is really the prime time for these guys. Now I need to pull it in a little bit because I'm not in the deep part here. I'm going to go ahead and slowly reel it in. Just a little bit more. Let's at least get it to where it's setting at a 45 degree angle. There we go. That's better. Alright, we're getting some interest now. Come on. You know you want to. Come on. Come on, fish. Oh, quit playing with it. Quit your fiddling. Quit your fiddling. There he goes. There he goes. Let's see what we got here. We got us a... Hmm. a bullhead. Yep. Nope. Young channel catfish. Yeah, you might get those with the cheese. <laughs> Alright, let's go to cut bait. That way we most assuredly not going to get the little guys. Cut bait are, are available pretty early in the game, too. I'm going to go with a little bit bigger hook this time. Let's see. Let's go with the two on it. Maybe we can actually get us another trophy. Right about here. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, it doesn't really have to be that far out. I just kind of prefer it right there. That's just my own choice. For the bullheads, anyway. Channel cats, I like it a little closer. I'm getting a bite. I saw something pecking at it. saw that little triangle at the bottom flashing just a touch. So there's something down there interested. A lot of times though, guys, if you don't get a whole lot of action, if you just kind of... Like I've got it set to only one notch, I just kind of tap it a little bit every now and then. Like that. See how you saw that flash? That's a fish. I got him interested. Now this could be a channel cat too, because the little young ones like to go for the the small cut bait as well, just as much as the bullheads. But since I've got a bigger hook, I've also increased my chances of getting a trophy bullhead. Come on, he's fiddling, fiddling. There he goes. There he goes. He's got it. Come on. Mm. Fairly decent sized. Let's see what he is. Bullhead. Yep. Trophy black bullhead there, guys. Three pounders. That's exactly what I was going for. There you go. Anyway, guys, when you first start playing this game, these guys are a lot of fun to catch. Uh, you are lucky. When I first started, they didn't even have these guys available. So, I am really envious of that. <laughs> All we had was uh, Channel Cats, 
bluegill, pumpkin seeds, and of course bass, and they've added so many new species here. Apparently there's green sunfish in here now, I think. Uh, I do know that the bull, bullheads are here, the alligator gar are here. Um, it's just great. Anyway, guys, please be sure to share, comment, like, and subscribe, and if you have any questions as far as what to use, what depths to use, and any other additional places, because I've been told that there's another good place right here, right by the green boat. Alright, guys, that was a lot of fun. So be, please be sure to share, comment, like, and subscribe, and come out here and try to catch some of these black bullheads. And I will be back with another episode. I want to try to see if I can't get the bowfins caught in this case. So hopefully we'll be back and we'll get an episode about bowfins. Anyway guys, I will talk at you later. Bye bye.